Hi everyone, Dan Polanka with Answerata's Client Success Team here with part five of our Data Room training series. In today's video, we'll be reviewing the Manage Settings section of your room. Several of these settings have been covered off in full detail in previous sessions, so feel free to click the link if you're joining us for the first time and would like to start from the beginning of this training series. We'll also include some links throughout the video for further detail. As always, you can check out our help and support library or contact our friendly support team with any questions you might have after the video. Your Manage Settings section can be found on your main data room navigation menu. This section of the room will include several general settings for your project. Under the Manage Settings tab, you'll note that you can modify the name and address of your project at any time. Clicking Add Address will allow you to create a completely new URL for your room, and you can feel free to set up multiple URLs if needed. If you're mid-deal, we don't recommend deleting your original URL, as it may have already been bookmarked by your users. The most recent URL will appear in the address bar by default moving forward. As you scroll down, you will also find that you can upload your own logo by selecting Choose File under the Header section. You can also easily edit your existing logo or revert to Ansarata branding at any time. You'll also need to select your transaction type and industry group at this stage. This will adjust some labeling in the room, enhance your reporting, and will be used to help Ansarata provide you with custom data-driven resources in the future. If you continue to scroll down, you'll note that you can also adjust your welcome message. Your welcome message can be added to your login page and navigation menu. The welcome message is also a great place to include a reminder if you are running your diligence process through Ansarata's Q&A platform. It should be noted that your login page can be accessed by anyone who has been provided the room's URL, so we do not advise including confidential information in your welcome message if you are displaying it on the login page. Enabling your terms of access allows you to require anybody in the data room to agree to said terms upon their first login or any time you change the wording of your terms. These can be uploaded as a PDF, or you can feel free to use our in-room editor. Once these are set up, you can select if a person needs to agree to these terms as you invite them into the room. You can also change this setting for multiple people at once by selecting Actions and Edit People under either your internal or external team's management tab. From here, you'll find an option to customize your numbering, allowing you to change the default number formatting of your folders and documents. If folders and documents have already been added to your room, their numbering will not auto-update when changing these settings. Because of this, you may wish to use our Renumber tool after your settings have been saved. The Renumber tool can be found under the Actions tab of your room's Manage Documents section. Next, you'll find that you can change your session timeout, which will log people out of the data room after they have been inactive for a set amount of time. You'll also find the ability to create a custom invitation or adjust Q&A by email settings. Both of these sections have been covered in full detail in our previous sessions. When you're ready to close your room, this is where you'll find options for either an immediate or scheduled closure. We do recommend running archives, both for your internal team and for any external parties who are involved in the final stages of the deal. Microsoft Office Security can also be enabled or disabled for the entire room from this section. Feel free to review our training on creating teams for more information on how this security works. Once you've reviewed your settings, please be sure to click Save to apply any changes. All right, at this point, our room is set up and ready to go live. The final step is to ensure that we have full visibility on our guests and the process as a whole. In our next session, We'll review your available reports and give you some tips on how you can use these to better predict the outcome of your project. Thanks for joining me and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.